sai não. Eu tô sem a build, tá com a build de tem dois. Tá bom. Vai. Tá lutando contra o cara aqui. Fatality. É o... Não, o cara matou ele. Copy, copy. That was a weird glitch. Looks like Deacon Mines won't go out. Pestify! Oh! Good night! <laughs> Later! Um, I wasted and all of them's out. Oh yeah, Solder's coming. Ah. Yeah, hit it, hit it, hold on. Another one just came out, checkpoint. Then I'm just pushed up. Yep. Yeah. I'm getting you. Thank you. Try and guard you as a body shield. Look, no wait time for one. Can we talk about this? Oh my god. Yeah, all die. All die. Come on, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Focus him. Pastify, oh, GG, my dudes. He's, he's black barred. Yep. I tell you the truth. I'm a little confused by your tactics. Would have it all. One more time. I know a thing or two. We're here. Dead. Dead. <laughs> yep, I'm, I'm I got healing up. But if you would be so kind, please show some love to that like button. Also, smash that sub button if you happen to be new to the channel. And don't forget to reach up there, trigger that bell, and turn on post notifications. So that way you never miss a live stream or a video that is uplo uploaded. Quick mention and note, if you'd like to further support the channel, there are memberships to the Guerrilla Militia available. Just hit that join button. You'll get exclusive perks as well as custom emotes to use solely for Guerrilla Militia members in live stream chats. One on one help with builds if you're on PS4 gaming session. Shout outs, the list goes on. So if that's something you might be interested in, then please join the Guerrilla Militia. Also, you'll see below usually each of the videos. Uh, right above the description, a list of different products offered in Gorilla Swag from the forms of a uh, pullover, hoodies, long sleeve shirts, t-shirts, um, we have mugs, we have flags, blankets, the list goes on, even socks. So go definitely check those out if you want to help directly support the channel. But anyways, I'm going to send you over to some gameplay and then we're going to hop into the build. So we'll see you all back here in just a moment. As you can see, this build is just completely redonkulous. And of course, it's tactics and more or less it's play style when playing this. 
is the reason why I put the thumbnail the way it is. Because the vibes it gives off is just completely and utterly toxic. You know, that mist of piss is just devastating. But to accompany that and to more or less kind of combat those clutch berserk builds, then we actually have a little more toxicity intertwined in it because, as we all know, stagger, uh, you know, clutch players where if they can't shoot, they can't self-heal. So in turn, it makes it much more easier. And if you focus one that tries to push up on you and team shoot, then you can also have someone with you team shoot and turn them into a mist of piss. And anybody involved in that mist of piss is them themselves who are going to be turned into that same mist. But in the gameplay video, you saw it with two different specialists uh, being used. And I'm going to show you one, the exact same stats, doesn't change the weapon damage, the armor. All it does is changes the mechanics on how you play the build. So let's hop into it, shall we? All right, starting out first with the technician. I'm using the pestilence, and as far as the secondary, it's your personal preference. I go usually with the RP, uh, the MK46 or the RPK. Uh, this MK is 33.2, of course, with unhinged allegro and inner rhythm. My pestilence is 30.2. My armor is 7, uh, 471, health 53, and then a skill power is 2962. Now, the reason why my armor value is lower than it typically is is because of the overall percentage value of armor that I have on this particular chest piece. But have no fear. I try to get it as close, I would say, as possible because those armor percentages here in a couple weeks with gear 2.0 are going to be gone. So keep that in mind. Also, this pairs well with the new specialization because you can run the Hive here along with the Technician, and which I'll show you, is the Artificer. So if you drop the Hive and someone that is usually using the new Firewall Specialist with the Shield combo, then you can buff yourself and your skills. Also, you can buff your teammate's skills. So if someone else puts down like a healer hive or things of that nature, you can repair them, give them a buff to them, and you can see the duration lasts for 10 seconds. So you can kind of, you know, it's not exact as far as role play, but there are builds and mechanics that, you know, can complement and make each other stronger. So why not use them? But if you're solo, you can just use like a, a healer hive and then, of course, the infamous seekers. Cluster wise, 156, 781. With better damage mods in your seekers, you can get more damage. Also, if you have destructive built into your build by way of talent, you can get a little bit more explosive damage out of them. But we're more or less going for just a little bit of damage, but most importantly, the stagger. But if you want the one hitter quitter, type uh, seeker then you can just go with the one uh, seeker mine here and as you can see it does inflict bleed and then the pvp damage on it is 254 and then its regular damage for pve type things is 1,157,768 but you can use different variations different skills because with this amount of skill power you can pretty much be viable and versatile depending on your opponents in the dark zone or NPCs, depending on which, or most of them are, you know, can generally speaking NPCs versus players, you know, bots are bots, you know, <laughs> and I'm just kidding, not trying to be toxic, but, you know, you can choose whatever you so uh, desire when it comes to skills because you have the skill power in order to do so. And how to get that, basically, just like the way it's supposed to be as intended, is sacrificing a little bit of health in order to gain that skill power. So we'll start out first with the only piece of Petrov that we have, and it is by way of mask. 104 skill power. Hopefully I can get a better mask. Um, but if you want to forego, let's say, you know, the 50% uh, hazard protection along with the 30% insulated, um, you can easily, you know, find you a better mask along like this variety where it only has like 20% hazard protection and then go with insulated on it. Or if you want a little bit more DPS, then you can go with the likes of concussion and you need that one red, whether it be damage to elites or, you know, just whatever red attribute that you can get on there because it takes nine to uh, unlock and proc spark. So therefore I need it, that one red uh, just to be in order to able to be used in spark. 
So this particular case, I would most likely take off the 9% skill haste and then put a roll on here of 553 skill power, which will definitely further my skill power. And then I could switch these gloves over here instead of having a yellow on them and go with more or less a high health roll. So that is the different ways in which you could possibly improve this build. Of course, you know, with better stats on the pieces, you can always improve it as well. But it works out well pairing this, especially in a squad, with that new technician. So, and easily, if you want to use this particular build with the same stats, same damage and all that, with the way that I have it set up, I can just easily just switch mask. So if I switch to this particular mask, I'll still have 34% hazard protection. So that's, a, you know, just a little bit. Instead of the protected re reload on my sidearm, I'll just switch to stop, drop, and roll. Because if you don't have 100% hazard protection, you just put stop, drop, and roll on a sidearm or, you know, on a secondary weapon. Especially if you're using a, uh, an exotic as the primary, then that'll actually ca help you counter without having to stack 100% has protection, but it is very versatile. The same build can be switched over to uh, PVE just by simply switching out the mask. You can see the armor, the health, uh, and I get a little bit more skill power just because this one actually has like 84 skill power more, but very, very easy just to switch the mask in and out. Onto the two piece of uh, the Heligard, which gives me 5% total armor, 20% hazard protection, and the attributes are as followed, 5.5% total armor, 5% weapon damage, and then 30,476 armor. We're utilizing Hardened, of course, that Spark. And it has an offensive and defensive mod slot, 6% going by way of LMG. And the second slot by defensive mod, 4869 armor, 3.5% total armor, and then 3% explosive resistance. So as you can see, as is with these defensive slots, I have 100% hazard protection just on my mask and having two Heligard pieces. And so in the blues, to help counter explosives going toward me, then I actually have explosive resistance. But moving on, the chest piece, 9% total armor, 40,958 armor, and then the 7, 700 skill power. Of course, Bloodsucker, it requires 11 or more defensive Legos. You'll get uh, a stack of at least two in PVP, and I believe it's 15% bonus armor. So that kind of helps out further my survivability. And also to keep in mind, when you turn someone in that mist of piss, anything else in it, uh, you know, when it takes their armor as well, it'll also proc Bloodsucker. So keep that in mind. And then it has two defensive and offensive mod slot. 51, 28 armor, 3% total armor, 4% explosive resistance in the first one. 5.5% going to my LMG in the offensive mod, and then the second defensive mod, 39 and 45 armor, 3% explosive resistance, and then 4% total armor. Next on the list, we have the three pieces of True Patriot. Now, if you want to forego the red, white, and blue of having the third piece, you could easily switch out your knee pads depending on your personal preference. Like, if you want to shoot more from in cover, and, you know, if you go with, like, two skills that's damage skills, and that just leaves you, like, armor kits for heals, you can go with the likes of Heligard knee pads that have patience on it if you like shooting and being in cover. So that way you can regenerate 5% of your armor every 5 seconds. Well, actually, every second, but you have to be in cover for 5 seconds, and then every second after that, you regenerate 5% of your additional armor. And then it has two defensive mod slots, so it would put me at 491 armor. So it just depends on your personal play style. But this particular knee pads um, gives me 12% total armor, has a defensive and offensive mod slot. And one of the offensive mod slots, we're getting 5.5% LMG damage. And of course, in the second one, more armor, percentage of armor, and of course, explosive resistance. In the holster, you probably have better holsters out there. If that health value on that holster was closer, upward to like 30,000, 40,000, then you would see that in my health pool. But I'm gladly, since this is an armor-based build, to give up that health to get me more skill power that'll keep, re in, in turn, inflicting damage. And then it, with, uh, you know, skills that heal, then that way I can forego that health because it is a armor build and it doesn't rely on its health pool. But it has two offensive mod slots in it. Both of them combined, I'm getting a total of 12.5% weapon damage. So let's go over the character sheet, and then I will switch to the other specialist and show you um, the differences as far as when it comes to the skills utilized and, and how you want to proceed in doing that. Now, I'm getting 30.5% all-weapon damage uh, 
on all weapons as far as the rolls on my pieces and baked in. And then as far as LMG damage, a total of 65 for a total of 95.5% weapon damage going to my MK46 in total. These are the rest are as followed. Now you can see 100% hazard protection, blind, burn, bleed, and 14.34 explosive resistance. But anyways, just whichever specialist you prefer, depending on your play style. If you switch to anything other than the, and then the technician, you're still going to have roughly almost 1,900 skill power, which in turn is going to still give you heals, but then allow you to use like a stinger hive to also further help you uh, proc the spark. But I hope you enjoyed the gameplay. I hope you enjoy the vid. Stay tuned for actually a build built around the new specialist. Uh, so definitely stay tuned to the channel. Make sure you have the notification bell clicked on it. Be, be a sub. And also, if you would be so kind to smash that like button and show it some love, I am very much appreciative. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. We'll see you fudging later.